Hey everybody, welcome back to another week in my life. This one was definitely a really fun week. Um, I did a lot of baking and cooking and shared some different recipes and stuff with you. And then also decorated for Christmas. So yeah, that was definitely exciting. I'm excited. Christmas has been up for a bit now and I am loving it. Every minute of it, it's beautiful. So follow along with me and let's get into this. So to start out today, I wanted to show off my belly and I can't even believe it's already grown so much since this video. I really have not shown a lot of belly bumps, but here you go. Um, I was just getting ready for a work meeting um, I had, and I was wearing this cute dress from Posh Diva that they sent me. And y'all, I wore it all day <laughs> um, for this meeting, and it didn't ride up. It was super comfy, felt awesome around my belly, and I loved it. So I'm so thankful that they sent it to me. Um, if you guys want one, I'll put the link down below um, to my Amazon shop and you guys can go um, and grab one there and a bunch of other little pregnancy stuff I'll also tag um, that I've gotten from Amazon and I really like. But I was just working on straightening my hair, nothing too fancy, just simple and easy. So after I got all ready, I went into the other room and I started working on some sourdough cinnamon rolls. So this was a recipe that, like our family recipe of cinnamon rolls that we always use, and I made into sourdough, and y'all, they turned out amazing. So I'm gonna have to do a full tutorial because I will definitely be making more of these soon. It turned out so soft and sweet and just perfect. I don't know if anyone else has problems, but I feel like with cinnamon rolls, there people have a hard time getting like the right texture and the right amount of cinnamon to bun, and these were perfect. So I couldn't wait any longer. I've gotten a couple clothes here and there for our little boy and decided that they need to be hung up instead of folded. So got some little tiny hangers and was just hanging up the shirts so I could put them in our closet and get them all ready for when he comes in a few months. So this day we're just starting out by making dinner and dinner was just really quick and easy which was just uh, potatoes and some grilled chicken so i first got the potatoes these are the ones we well we i picked from the garden and so i was just trying to cut them up a little bit so they'd be a little bit smaller and then just putting them into the pot um to boil also again i love looking at my pregnancy belly oh, like it's so much fun watching it every single video and just seeing it grow it just makes me so happy After I ate my yummy dinner, I went into the living room to put away all my fall decor. I put mine away after Halloween. That's just how I like it. You guys can say whatever you want, but I don't care. So I went through, put everything into their different sections so I could get Christmas out. So after fall was all put away, cleaned up, all that fun jazz. I started working on pulling out all my Christmas decor so I could see what I have and then start placing it. So the first thing was placing all my nativities onto the table and I could figure out um, which ones I have and where I wanted to put them. I started a collection back when I was in my teenage years of collecting a nativity every year. And some years, honestly, I get multiple. I think last year I got three out of all randomness. So you never know how things are going to go when you get new ones, but that's kind of my goal and so I'm just sitting them all out so I can figure out where I want all of them.
So I started out this day by making my electrolyte drink. Um, it's like a lemon flavored one I've been trying to take while being pregnant. Um, and then after that I put some water into my uh, red raspberry leaf tea. I have a cup of that um, every day at some point, but I make it in the morning. I then I worked on feeding my sourdough start so I could do more baking with it. Since it got late the night before, I wanted to show the decor this day. And to just make it even more magical, we got snow this day too. And it was just amazing to wake up to and have all the Christmas decor set up and all the lights. Also, here's a highlight of my basil plant that's been doing awesome inside. And I think I'm gonna have to find more herbs because it's doing so good. So this is the same day. It looked like Winter Wonderland. And now we're to it back looking like fall because all the snow melted. So that was the only clip I got, but I went on a little walk this day. I'm trying to do better at going on walks. I haven't, <laughs> but I, I'm slowly, I'm trying. So when I got back, I decided to make up some Instapot chicken bruschetta, chicken pasta, whatever stuff. So I first um, started out by getting two chicken breasts and I just cut them into small little bite sized pieces. And I put those into the Instapot um, with some noodles. Now, I know I should have done um, different noodles, but I, um, I was at a beignet noodles, so I ended up just using spaghetti noodles. So I put this into Instapot with some Italian seasoning, some salt, some black pepper, olive oil, um, a can of diced tomatoes, um, and some water and then some Parmesan cheese. Our pressure cook for about three minutes. While that was cooking, I diced up a small onion. After it was all diced up, I put some olive oil into a frying pan and fried it, not fried, I sauteed up the onion. Didn't really call for this in the recipe, but I just like the whole saute thing. Also, can I just say, <laughs> I think I've talked in other videos, I love the smell of onions while being pregnant. I could eat them in everything right now. Oh, just cutting them just to smell is, is to die for. Then I got some dried basil, and this is some of the basil that I have grown this year, and then dried, and I just got in the mortal and mortar, mortar and pesto, whatever it's called, um, and I just pounded it down until it was really fine, um, and it'd be ready once, once the stuff in the Instant Pot was done, I could put it in. So after that, I started putting all of my spices into a bowl. I like doing this when I'm waiting for something to cook, so I can kind of add and throw everything in, so... I put in some garlic, some lemon juice, and then some salt and pepper with the basil so everything will be ready. And then I also um, diced up some a couple tomatoes um, to be able to put into it as well. So I did get mixed up before. The Parmesan cheese went up put in earlier. I put it in now uh, with all the spices and the onions and tomatoes and mix this all into 
this bruschetta chicken instant pot pasta mix whatever it is and this was our dinner so this day i started making bagels and i don't think i ever <laughs> showed the finished product honestly but y'all i just need a little, someone to laugh these bagels <laughs> ended up this dough that I was making was actually for homemade pretzels didn't realize that and so then it'd be like pretzel bagels they were like hard on the outside like a pretzel and tasted like a bagel it was so weird but they were still yummy I just had a really laugh when it was the next day and I'm like going through my recipe to get them I'm um, already unboiled and didn't realize um, until then that I, that I made the wrong recipe, but they still turned out really yummy. I somehow didn't get any clips of them when they turned out, but believe me, they were still yummy and really good. But hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friend um, if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week. Hope you have a great day, great night. God bless.